Hi everyone, here is Akta and welcome back on my YouTube channel and yeah, this is it, as you can see, I just managed to beat the stage 30 of the Blue Mark Tower with all the stars. Yeah, so I have the 25 uh, Mythic Shards bonus here. It was so freaking hard. I spent hours in order to try to optimize my team and try to beat the boss. You are gonna see, first of all, I'm gonna show you the run and then I'm gonna show you the stats of my heroes. So stay tuned. But before we jump into the content, as always, if you enjoy it, please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much. So here we are, let me run the video and look at this. Quinlan is a great unit. When he is exclusive 3, you, you can inflict a ton of HP burnings and control enemies. This is the one of the key to beat this stage. Without Quinlan exclusive 3, uh, probably I wouldn't be able to beat this stage because you will see that he can apply an extra HP burning on the boss using his ultimate in AoE and this is really important. Without it, I don't, I'm not sure uh, you can beat the boss. Or maybe with a poison team because you have a lot of poison, a lot of poisoners, a lot of bleeders and poisoners on the blue mark, but... Uh, on my accounts, I didn't build uh, poisoners or bleeders yet, so uh, at the moment it is not working. So the as you can see here, it is not a big threat. Uh, it is really easy to uh, deal with waves using this team because I have a lot of supports, etc. So now, really important, let me. Um, make a pause, a break. So as you can see right here, uh, there is my Dustin. He has more than 2200 speed now, so he plays before the boss. This is important. So now I'm going to use the shield on my heroes. Then my Quinlan has a bit more speed than before, but still less than 1600. So he plays, uh, he has less speed than enemies on waves and on the boss. And so he gets a 50% turn meter. Uh, at the beginning of the wave thanks to that and also he apply an HP burning on enemies so this is really important uh, with the third exclusive he is gonna apply an extra HP burning in AoE to everyone and also he can without exclusive he can control enemies and this is a really really important because Catherine if you don't control her or kill her fast then she will apply the consolidation but you don't care because you're using dots but she is gonna apply the shield and the counter attack and if the boss counter attack uh, this is really bad for your team then I have Tuck. Uh, I replaced uh, the aura. Uh, I, I, I'm using a legendary aura on uh, Dustin. This is the Vanguard, uh, the Combat Vanguard aura, something like this. Uh, in fact, uh, when you deal direct damage to an enemy with the unit with the, the aura, then you will inflict uh, a debuff that increases the damage taken by all sources, uh, from all sources by the boss. Uh, will increase by a uh, 16%. So this is really, really nice to increase dot damage here. So I'm using it on Dustin because he has an AoE attack on his ultimate, so he can apply it on the boss when he is stealth, and this is really important. An another thing, uh, Tuck, I increased his speed, so now he plays before the boss, he has more than 2,200 2, speed, and also he has a recovery horn aura with a more healing effect than before. Now, uh, I don't remember exactly, but he has almost a 40% healing effect. I'm going to show you the stats of my heroes right after. Then my uh, Quinlan and my Love has a maxed out uh, Mastery Aura, that means they deal more damage than before. And finally my, um, my Guhana has way way more effect hit than before. Uh, before I had uh, only 30%, so the boss was always uh, resisting my uh, speed down, but now I have more than 70% and the boss doesn't uh, resist really often. And this is really important, the speed down reduction on the boss is golden for this stage. So let's see the fight. So as you can see, I use the shield, deal some basic attack, apply some HP burning, and now I controlled the two adds, Catherine and Serena. Now I am gonna de do deal some simple damage to Catherine because I want to keep my uh, skills for the boss when he, uh, the adds will be dead. 
and this is it they are dying so now only the boss remaining i'm gonna try to apply some hp burning only one proc on the boss this is not great for the beginning but now as you can see the boss is slowed down so i i have a lot of turns in order to apply some dots and deal some damage on the boss uh, as you can see, my Guhana is exclusive 3 and with the second exclusive, she can increase the speed of my units by 40% instead of 20%. And I'm pretty sure it makes the difference because as you can see, I play really often um, and the boss doesn't play that much. So I can get back my uh, skills and I can lower uh, one more time the speed of the boss. So now the goal is to apply a ton of uh, HP burnings on him before he revives uh, enemies. And now I want to kill both ads really fast, as fast as, as fast as I can. So I'm gonna use the AOE. So I increase the damage in AOE. I freeze the ads. And the boss is still under slow status that means i can kill enemies really fast and the boss will still have all his cooldowns almost look at this still speed down reduction on him and catherine and serena are dead so now i can focus the boss he has two turns of cooldown so speed down reduction one more time and now he has four hp burnings on him uh, he is gonna take some more damage right here uh, I'm gonna increase the damage he takes. Okay, shield myself so I also increase the, the HP of my units so I deal more HP burning damage and now I'm trying to inflict as much damage as I can. 4 HP burnings on him. So now I'm gonna increase my turn meta and hopefully I will have the speed reduction for uh, before the boss acts. And it propped again. This is why effect hit was really important on Guhana, because every time it's proc'd every time on the boss, and this is really important. Now I want to kill the ads as fast as I can to do the exact same thing as before. So I buff myself, really important. You're gonna see the damage I'm gonna take. Uh, I was really close to beat the stage with Luff with three stars because Luff was close to death. As you can see, all cooldowns on the boss and I can focus him. But he doesn't have the speed reduction at the moment. But now he has it one more time and this is so powerful. And as you can see my love is, was almost dead. But it's okay, I can apply more dots on the enemy. I'm gonna increase my uh, heal myself, apply another shield and it was close. Look at this, the boss has his ultimate, 7% HP remaining. But... He resisted every dot of my uh, love, and now he has 0% HP remaining. That means I'm gonna kill him using AoE attacks. So now I just have to focus Catherine and Serena. The boss is dead, really, really nice. 11 turn, both bosses turns. This is great, so I have the three stars. This is great. I'm so happy, I'm so happy about it. This stage, I struggle so hard on trying to beat it. It is really, really nice. So now let me show you uh, my hero's stats. So let me go back on the game hero. Uh, where is she? This is my Guhana. So I'm using an, a feather set and an effect hit set on her. So she has a nice defensive stats, HP and defense, a lot of speed, but not that much. Uh, a bit less than the boss. So right after the boss acts, she will uh, slow him down and it will increase the duration of the slow on the boss. Optimize it, not increase, but optimize it. So this is really important to play right after the boss with the slow. 72% uh, effect hit. This is why I'm applying r the, the slow really often. Almost every time, this is really important to so apply the slow with this skill. I have a 100% chance to apply it. That means that you don't need that much effect hit, but you, don't, you need a bit of effect hit still. Uh, so yeah, she is really important. This is the emblems I am using on her. So she has a speed one and this one. This is a build for the arena because as you can see, uh, turn meta reduction. Uh, this is more for the arena. 
and she is tanky with that. I'm only using this one, so it increases the uh, her healing effect, so I get more heals on my units. Uh, this is my tuck, so as you can see, 2,205 uh, speed. I have a bit of HP, uh, defense, so he is tanky, a bit of effect hit, so he can often control waves and uh, sometimes Catherine and Serena against the boss. And some healing effect, yeah, 53% healing effect. I'm using only first aid set on him, so he gets everything he needs. Speed, effect heat, and healing effect. This is the best set to use on him. But I'm not using great sets. As you can see, I have a 5-star one, uh, only uh, plus 12. And uh, yeah, others are not that great. And I won't show it to you. This is uh, This is useless. On, you just need some basic uh, HP, defense, stat, and some speed bonus. And finally, I'm using this aura on him, and so using it, he can heal a lot my allies, as you just saw on the video. And this is the emblems I'm using on him, so also a speed one. And this is also a great build for the arena, so this is really important. Then I'm my Queenlan, maybe? Yeah, let's continue with the support. Uh, Dustin, 2,206 speed, so he is faster than the boss. He plays before, he has a lot of HP and defense. HP is uh, great on him, so he applies a better, sh a stronger shield. He doesn't have that much effect hit. Uh, he would need more than this in order to s to lower the attack of the boss and make the run safe, uh, safer than it is now. The twenty one percent was enough for my run, so I'm using a feather set and a sp classic speed set on him, and this is his emblem. So I'm using an HP one here, so he is more tanky and provide a better, a stronger shield. And I'm using this aura on him. So this is this, the, the only legendary aura I have on my account. I never bought any rune. I farmed only uh, stages 21, 22 in uh, the Faction Abyss Sword Arbor, thanks to uh, Sigmund and Catherine. This is really optimal, they are very strong together. And I crafted almost all my purple runes, if I show it to you. I don't have a lot of uh, purple and blue and green in stock, as you can see, because I crafted everything in order to get this one. But this is a great aura to have for all content. And I'm using Dustin in all content at the moment. Then I have Quinlan. He has a decent stuff. I'm using only effect hit set on him, so this is a basic set. Um, it would be better to have a forge once, but uh, I'm not be lucky enough on my forge for now. So I'm using classic stuff here. So this is the, his stats, almost 500k HP, uh, not that much speed because he has to have less than 1,600 uh, 1, speed to, in order to uh, play, uh, to have the extra turn meter at the beginning of the wave and to apply an extra HP burning in AoE thanks to his passive. So he have a lot of effect hit, nine, almost 90%. This is just enough uh, for the boss. Maybe 100% would be better because sometimes he... Uh, misses some HP burnings on him. And finally, 100% mastery, this is really important on him. So here are his emblems. I'm using a basic offensive dots one, as you can see with uh, these ones in order to make all my heroes stay alive. And this is the aura I'm using on him, so as you can see only level 4, I should be able to get more stats right here, but as I said I'm farming only the Sword Harbor at the moment, because I can farm the stage 22 in auto. Uh, on this faction I'm only doing a stage 10 or 11, so it's not really optimal to get some tokens to increase these auras. And finally, where is he? Where is my love? This is my love. Finally, Escuzi 5. So he has a, a really nice stat. Uh, I'm running him on a double hit set. Uh, no forge set, as you can see. A 453k HP, almost a 30k defense. So he is really tanky. He has a decent amount of speed and a great amount of effect hit and mastery, but as you saw on the boss, he misses a lot of HP burnings. As you saw, the boss resists some, 
So 100% on him is not enough. The reason why it is not enough, it's because the calculation of the effect heat and the resistance and the apply to uh, the chance to apply the HP burning of the skill are um, brought together. Uh, in order to bring the final results. So, uh, the lower the rates you have on the skill to uh, try to apply, the lower, the, the higher the effect hit you will need in order to apply it for sure. And he has only 40% chance. That is why I struggled to, um, to inflict HP burnings on the boss using this. Uh, probably uh, it would be better to have maybe 130 or 140% effect hit, but this is clearly not not achievable on him 100% is great it's not still not reliable but it's still great i'm using these emblems on him the same as quinlan's as you can see and finally the same aura as quinlan's to increase his mastery during, during the fight so that was all for the video, now I had an extra shot and I could uh, increase the exclusive of my Ben Austin. I'm trying to get to uh, level 5 here before I save to uh, get another mythic hero uh, because now he has almost the same amount of speed as my Catherine so he is great for the arena. So that was all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one, bye bye! Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.